Hi, this is the second tutorial in a series of tutorials to show you how to use Coda Game Lab from Microsoft to build a Pac-Man clone. Now, I've already uh, completed lesson one, which was to create the landscape with the apples on and stuff for uh, our character to move around. So I'm going to load up that world. There it is. And you can see here, here is my world. Uh, zoom in a bit. There you go. So the next thing I want to do is start to put in characters. So I'm going to go to this little space down here. And... I'm going to add in my Pac-Man character. Now, obviously, there's nothing that's kind of equivalent to a Pac-Man in here. So I'm going to use um, a cycle bot who can move around reasonably quickly. So the first thing I want to do is empower him to be able to move around the board. So I'm going to go into the program menu. And I want to be able to use uh, Xbox 360 controllers and the keyboard. So when gamepad, left stick, do move. And I also want to be able to use the keyboard, so when, keyboard, do, move. Okay, and if we test that now, go into the play mode, then this is me using the keypad, and this is me using the keyboard. And obviously we can see that as we move around, we're just moving these apples, we're not, we're not actually collecting anything. So... Let's go back to edit world, and now we need to add some characteristics to the cycle bot to allow him to collect apples. So I'm going to go into the program menu again, and I'm going to say when you bump into uh, an object and an apple, do, and then we want to. What we want to do is we want to vanish it. So, I want to vanish it, but we also want to add points. So, we also want to uh, go to the game, the score, and we want to score five points per apple. And we're going to do this onto a specific score. We're going to maintain two scores here. One is going to be for points and one's going to be for lives. So I also want to add, make sure that I add this to the score that's about uh, points, and I'm going to make that the red score. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to say when I bump into an apple, I want to vanish it and add five points to the score. So to do that, I'm going to click here and move it in. So this now says when uh, when you bump into an apple, do both of these things. Okay. So, we now go and play it. You can see here, that every time I eat an apple, every time I eat an apple, I can score points. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to leave the um, what happens on the PowerPoints till later because I want a special action to happen here. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to add a ghost. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add the Kodus as my ghosts. So here he is. Uh, so I'm going to go into program mode. And what I want to do is I want him to, when, I, when he's nowhere near the cycle bot, I want him just to wander around aimlessly until he sees it. And then when he sees the cycle bot, I want him to move towards him very quickly. So to do that, I'm going to say when C, I'm going to go to the box menu here, and I'm going to look for my cycle box, there he is, not, so when I don't see the cycle box, move by just wandering around, but when I see uh, the cycle box, move towards it quickly, quickly, quickly. So that when he sees me, he'll move towards it very, very quickly. So let's just test that out. Yeah, zoom out a bit so we can see. Like an apple. So there's the cycle box just wandering around aimlessly. 
to get into his line of sight. When he sees me, he turns. There we can see he's moving very quickly towards me. Oh. Just managed to get away from him there. And again, you can see here now he's moving very quickly towards me and he's bumped into me. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to make both of these things templates. Because if you die, we want to add a new cycle bot. And if ghosts get eaten, we want to use uh, get a new cycle bot. So the way to do this is we're going to go to settings. Okay. And we're going to make these creatables. So that means that the game can create more copies of them later. So I've done that on that one. And let's just go on the ghost and make him a creatable. Now you can see the creatables glow green here. And if I went into the game, you can now see that there aren't any there. So what I'm going to do, so these are so this is like a template. So let's just move him. I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up and move him over here so he's not on the board. Let's go over. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make clones of them so I've got ones to start off with. So when I hover over him, I can see here on the uh, left hand side I've got the clone option. So I'm going to clone a new copy of my cycle bot. So here's my clone. Move him over there. And I'm going to make a new clone of the uh, ghost. In fact, I'm going to make four new clones of the ghost. So, one, two, three, four. so here's my clones. So one, two, three, four. Right, so let's move him then. Pick him up and move him into place. There he is. Last one. So make sure that none of those ones are the green ones because you don't want them to be the creatable so otherwise they won't appear on the board. So here you go. Here's my and here's my ghost. So that's the end of this first, uh, the second tutorial. So we've created all of our characters. Uh, in the next tutorial, tutorial three, we'll do uh, start, start setting actions of what happens when uh, we bump into those ghosts. So the most important thing we need to do now is to save my world and just save it. Now, if you want to uh, keep the previous version so you can go back and look at it, you can do uh, the uh, increment and save option. Or if you just want to write over the top of it, you can just do save. I'm just going to uh, do increment and save. And what will happen is when I go to the load screen, you can see here that it's got my original version and the next version here.